Good morning, Jennifer here with City Farmhouse Antiques and I am here with this week a few finds of the week. Tell me what you think of me doing my videos this way instead of just featuring one artist showing you a couple different pieces. Um, I don't necessarily have all of them up yet on the website, but if you see something you like that way from the latest, you know, finds, the latest trips that I have made, the things that I have acquired, uh, that's the benefit of belonging to the YouTube channel, subscribing, subscribing and signing up for the newsletter. You're going to see all of these things first and have first dibs on them even before they are necessarily up on the website. Because at the end of the day, I am a one woman show and um, I have a little bit of help here. Unfortunately, my friend, those of you that have seen my pictures, um, you know, on Facebook and follow me, know that I have an older dear friend, Gloria. She passed away and I just haven't even been able to share the information. The news, i just been too heartbroken. I can't seem to tape a box without thinking about her. So you see some of you have seen her help me drop boxes off and packages off and work with me here. And and uh, she passed, unfortunately just just recently so it's it's been tough and I have two new two new shippers to introduce you to and this is one of her puppies this is Scotty and Shady is still in bed so um, I just brought them home with me so we have more puppies so this is the first piece I was going to show you this is a Yadro piece gorgeous standing floor vase and of course Yadro is known for its fine porcelain made in Spain and this is in a beautiful cobalt blue and kind of a gray blue but you can see the detail to this piece it's absolutely beautiful stands about close to 20 inches tall and um, there you can see all of the detail on this gorgeous piece it would be beautiful on the floor could go Asian with an Asian motif um, style in a home or traditional or just about anything being this color but beautiful beautiful Yadro floor vase so that piece is not yet up on the website but will be if I can get it in gear there you can see the rim and the next piece that I want to show you is This is a beautiful J strong water frame. Very heavy. So of course, these are always adorned in the beautiful crystals. Let's see if I can take it out. It's got its original tags and everything still on it and it's it's the larger one. I believe this one comes in two sizes. Boy, I wrapped this one good comes in two sizes but this one's a good 12 inches 13 inches I think long so it's a pretty big piece and you can see all of the detail here in the starfish the clamshells and all the crystals so this piece is covered in crystals and absolutely beautiful so it'd be gorgeous in a bedroom gorgeous on a nightstand maybe you want to put a frame in there I mean a picture in there and capture um, you know, some great memories on the beach. This is perfect too for summer or in a um, seaside home, anything like that. So you can remove this out of there or you can and put your own picture in or you can leave it in there. I'm not going to take it out because I don't want the, um, the packing material to pull on any of those crystals because it's got hundreds of crystals. You can see them all in there. Beautiful piece, very heavy. Let's see what else we've got in here. Oh, I know what I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you this gorgeous piece of your Murano glass. I don't know if you can see it. This is an Alfredo Barbini um, piece. Beautiful. And so, you know, identifying Murano glass, sometimes it can be tricky for people, but you've got to get used to feeling for quality. And so it's going to feel like a very substantial, very heavy piece, 
I don't know if you can see all of the little flecks. They call that aventurine and tons of gold, gold flecks inside this piece when you take it outside or in the light. But there you can see it's striped in different colors of pink and the rim folds up and still has a, a label on it. But it's very heavy, heavy, heavy piece. You can hardly lift it with one hand. So that's the sign um, of good quality glass. You can see the back. That's the pontil where it came off of that hot piece of molten glass as they were forming the shape. They cut it off there and then they polished it. Lots of times too, you will see scratches, you know, just very minor scratches from age, which is typical. It means nothing's wrong with the piece. This is just typical um, of a heavy piece, well-made piece of Murano glass um, that's not brand new and has some value to it. So there you can see that piece. It's, it's, it's probably about two inches maybe tall and probably close to 10, 12 inches in diameter. Beautiful piece of Murano glass to set out on a table to display in an art glass case, um, anything like that. So those are a couple of finds of the week I wanted to share with you. Be sure and tell me what you think of this style of video. If you like it better than me just um, featuring one item and one artist, let me know what you think. Uh, be sure again and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Subscribe to the newsletter so you can see all of the finds. If there's something you see that you like that's not yet up on the website or something that you're looking for that you want me to keep an eye out for, message us on the website at www.cityfarmhouseantiques.com. I see them most there. I have a lot of people message me on Facebook and Messenger, and I'm not always great about seeing all of those messages. It seems like these days they come in from everywhere, and it's hard for me to keep up. But if you message me on the website, I will see that for sure. So if there's something you want, let me know, and I will hold it aside for you and help you get it. So again, www.cityfarmhouseantiques.com, where we have more than just antiques. We have collectibles and garden and home decor. And if you're having trouble finding something on the website, let me know. I'm open to critiques. I love people. If you can help me, I've had a couple customers recently tell me they're having a difficult time finding things. I'm going to make that search button bigger um, and make checkout easier. So if there's something you see that I can fix to make it more user friendly, I could use the help. You know, give me that feedback so I can make those changes um, to help me know what it is that, that can make this shopping experience more fun. So I will see you next week.